Good morning, Jerica. It's just after sunup here in Phoenix and already it is 92 degrees. Current forecasts show that the entire month of July could potentially see highs of over 110 degrees. And it's not just in Arizona where we're seeing potentially life threatening heat. A TikTok user captured this frantic scene in South Texas. Bystanders breaking through the windshield of an SUV to rescue a baby from a hot car. The family accidentally left their keys in the car and a number of people there jumped into action. The baby appeared to be okay. The potentially deadly heat will remain an unrelenting health hazard for much of the South, including Miami, which was placed under an excessive heat warning for the third time in a week. In nearby Homestead, Florida, a vigil was held Friday for 29-year-old Efrain Lopez Garcia, a farm worker who died of heat exhaustion earlier this month. So we are hearing of more deaths. In Texas, the governor has signed a law eliminating mandatory water breaks for construction workers in Austin and Dallas. How are these people supposed to work in these types of conditions? Velma Infante's 24-year-old son Gabriel died of heat stroke while laying fiber optic cables during last summer's Texas heat wave. She's filed a lawsuit seeking more than a million dollars against his construction company, claiming it didn't do enough to protect him. He was a good son. He was an excellent son. He never got in trouble. A part of me is gone. You feel this is a preventable tragedy? Yes, it should have been prevented. And we reached out to that Texas construction company for comment, but have not yet heard back.